Hey YouTube, this is part 4. Um, in this part we're going to do the snare drops and you know all the different snare parts that we have in here. So first we're just going to come down and work on the snare drop in the beginning of the song. Uh, these are the parts that you want to pay a lot of attention to. Uh, so here we go. doing snare drops a lot of producers do a ton of panning from left to right so it's usually the same for hi-hats but in this song the hi-hat is so quiet that um, you don't really have to pay too much attention to so we're just going to do some panning when you scroll this up it pans to the right I think. and then when you pull this down it pans to the left so
this bass part where this 808 hits. Alright, so we're going to go on and take this. seven so we can hear the bass and the kick go at the same time. So song from bar 1 to bar 
so it sounds sounds right I'm just gonna turn the snare up a little bit because when the song is played you can barely hear it and the snare needs to stand out Now I'm just going to add an automation clip and we'll be done. do is I'm going to go through and tweak a little bit through the whole song. Um, pretty much it's done. So the next video will be the final product of the FLP. Also, um, you know, if you want the FLP, make sure you subscribe to me. Also, go on and check out the, the other channel that's in the description and subscribe him. He's the person that I got all of these sounds from. So just because you'll be getting them from me, we might as well sub the source too. So, um, yep, if you really like it, go in and, and uh, share it also. And if you missed the previous videos, click the annotations on this video and it'll take you to part one, two, and three. Thanks.